Hello everyone and welcome to the Gunpla Network News. As always, I'm your host, The Spicer, and today's episode of the news is brought to you by none other than Canadian Gundam. Canadian Gundam is your one-stop shop for all things Gunpla and Playmo here in North America. With a vast catalog to restock regularly and flat rate shipping to the US and Canada, if you live in North America, they've got you covered. When you're checking out that vast catalog and placing your next order, don't forget to use the promo code GUMPLA NETWORK to save yourself 10% off. Well, it's been pretty much the dry season for GUMPLA news, with more announcements from The Witch of Mercury coming out, the floodgates have opened, at least for The Witch of Mercury stuff. So it's only right that we start with the high grade 1144 scale Gundam Ariel. With a release date of October 2022 and a price tag of 1,430 Japanese yen. In terms of lore, we do know a little bit more about the Gundam Ariel, mostly that it uses the Gund Arm system, which is that shield weapon system that is part bit, part thruster, part thing for the gun, a lot of different things going into it. So anyone that said the shield was modular on their bingo cards for Witch of Mercury, you can go ahead and check that one off, you did good there. In terms of the model kit though, we get something even more interesting, which is pre-molded effect parts for the chest. This is not something I can really think of seeing any other time in a high grade or even a real grade to most extent, save maybe the real grade Ava's multicolored pre-molded pieces. This is awesome. I would love to see more of this and things like this on something that has like psycho frame or any kind of showing through effect would really, really benefit. Not only are we getting pre-molded parts though, we're also getting double-sided stickers, which are said to kind of cut down on the plasticky film look that stickers typically have. So maybe it'll blend into the suit a little bit more, look a little bit more effect party. Um, I'm still imagining it's going to have a little bit of a film to it, but generally it's probably going to look better than the stickers we have now. We also have the high-grade 1144 scale Gundam Firth with the release date of August 2022 and a price tag of 1760 Japanese yen. This is the predecessor to the Gundam Ariel, so all the cool things with the stickers and the pre-molded parts are going to apply here as well. And in terms of lore, we did get a little bit more, as this is piloted by Suleta's mom, her name is Eleanor, and it's developed by the Ox Earth Corporation, one of probably the major corporations that we'll see as a faction or something as like as maybe a smaller faction within the world of the Witch of Mercury. We also have the high grade 1144 scale Delans with a release date of October 2022 and a price tag of 1,760 Japanese yen. This Gushion vibe giving grunt suit is just that, it is a grunt suit and well that may not be 100% confirmed there is a commander type looking version of this so we can assume this is just going to be a grunt suit, it's probably one of the different factions or developed by a different corporation, not the Ox Earth Corp like we heard from before, as this is also designed by a different mechanical designer, so <laughs> visually speaking it's, it's quite a bit different. We also have the high grade 1144 scale Gwell's Delons, which has also got a release date of October 2022 and a price tag of 1760 in as well. This is the commander type, it's a different color, it's got more flourishes, extra little things here, and it's actually piloted by like a named person, so we know it's, it's a slightly improved version. Whether or not it has improved specs or performance or anything like that, we'll find out once the show airs, but it does look different and has all the accoutrement you would expect for a commander type mobile suit. We also have the high grade 1144 scale Gundam Fract with a release date of December 2022 and a price tag of 2,090 Japanese yen. This gives big Bjarlent vibes and it is the only other mobile suit from the show so far that's also been named Gundam. It looks wildly different so it's probably also developed by either a different team within the Earth Ox Corps or just a different corporation as well. A lot of different mechanical designs within this show as there's a lot of different mechanical designers and this is another one of those that really just hit home. We're going to see a lot of very interesting looking mechs from this show. We also have something a little different with the figure-eye standard Suleta Mercury, with a release date of October 2022 and a price tag of 3,200 Japanese yen. 
am actually really excited to see that we're getting figurized standards of an actual pilot. I don't know why this is this hard. This should have happened a long time ago, but I guess it took Saleta to get there first. Very excited this is coming out right alongside the Gundam Ariel and the Firth. Really wish we would get more pilots from the figurized standard line. <laughs> it looks good. Sure, maybe it'll be a little wonky here and there, but generally speaking, more pilot figures, please, Bandai. Speaking of that, we also have the figurized standard Miron Rembrandt, and I'm sure I mispronounced that, but I do apologize. With a release date of November 2022 and a price tag of 3,200 Japanese yen as well. So not only will we get a pilot, but we'll also get an operator or someone on the other side that's doing all of the technical work behind the scenes. Cool to see this. There's different, of course, with uniforms, so that it's also going to kind of help distinguish them and help them mix into the Witch of Mercury portion of your shelf whenever this inevitably starts going. And we can't forget the last model kit mobile suit from this line that we know of yet, which is the high-grade 1144 scale Demi Trainer, with a release date of December 2022 and a price tag of 1,320 Japanese yen. This is, I'm assuming, kind of more the grunt GM type suit, as it kind of follows more in line with that. It, it looks pretty basic. It's got a lot of different variants, so whether we're going to get expansion parts or something like that for it, or just it's going to come with a lot of different accessories and different pieces that you can use to change, like the head and shoulders and waist accessories and things. Either way, it looks cool. I'm glad we're seeing like a lot of this come out kind of all at once, and we're going to get it pretty much all coming out within three months. Very excited for The Witch of Mercury to come out, and there's a lot of stuff to build up with that as well. Now getting outside of the realm of The Witch of Mercury, we also have the Master Grade 1100 Gundam Base Limited Unicorn Gundam Crystal of Light version with a price tag of 9,900 Japanese yen. This is exactly as you would expect. It's the Master Grade Gundam Unicorn being reprinted again, but this is the Crystal of Light version, so it's got the crystals kind of coming out of the psycho frame and everything. I didn't know this didn't exist already. I kind of thought this was a thing, but I guess maybe that's a robot Damashi thing. I can't remember where I've seen it, but here it is in Master Grade form. So if you want another Gundam Unicorn and you want the weird crystals growing out of it, there you go. We also have the P Bandai High Grade Universal Century 1144 scale. RX-80RR Red Rider, with a release date of October 2022 and a price tag of 2,585 Japanese yen. The Pell Rider frame is getting just about as much use as the Unicorn frame these days, and it works. Pretty much every time we've seen a Pale Rider variant, it looks good and is usually very popular. So if you're a Pale Rider fan, this is a crazy time to be alive. We also have the P Bandai High Grade After Colony 1144 scale Gundam Elo Booster, with a release date of October 2022 and a price tag of 4,180 Japanese yen. This is another one of the G Unit spin off accessory pack type situation, but it's at the whole kit, so we'll see there. There's actually a lot of variations here that there's only like the main one or two. But they seem to be really going with this G-Unit line and providing everything. So we'll most likely get to see some really cool stuff out of this a little later on. But this is definitely one of the more striking variants to come out of the G-Unit side story. We also have the P-Bandai Master Grade 1100 scale Gundam EX Impulse. With a release date of August 2022 and a price tag of 6,600 Japanese yen. This is the Gundam X Impulse. We... <laughs> We've seen this on a smaller scale, but the Master Grade looks great. I love the idea of kind of mixing the Impulse with some of like the Zeta and some kind of like maybe more Zeta era accoutrement, and it looks really good. I'm loving it. All of these kind of weird Gundam Build Diver style side designs are really cool, and I'm here for them. But it's coming out in August, so if you like it, there it is. But that has been the news for this week. I know there was a lot to cover, so let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited to see. I was really surprised with the Gundam Ariel and the stuff that they're bringing out with that. So hopefully we continue to see some crazy stuff come out of that line. But 
Like I said, I want to hear from you guys. Maybe I'm the only one here, but I think a lot of people are excited about this. Anyway, this has been the Gunpla Network News. Please stay safe and keep on building.